Hi, I'm Amanol. Welcome to my business class. Today we are going to discuss three-dimensional theory of attribution. So for the people I need your attention please. Let's start. Attribution theory explains how we attach meaning to our own and other people's behavior. There are a number of theories about attribution. Bernard Wiener's three-dimensional theory of attribution assumes that people try to determine why we do what we do. According to Wiener, the reason we attribute to our behavior can influence how we behave in the future. For example, a student who fails an exam could attribute their failure to a number of factors and it's this attribution that will affect their motivation in the future. Wiener theorized that specific attribution example of bad luck, not studying hard enough, were less important than the characteristic of the attribution. According to Wiener, there are three main characteristics of attribution that can affect future motivation. Number one, stability. How stable is the attribution? For example, if the student believes they failed the exam because they weren't smart enough, this is a stable factor. An unstable factor is less permanent, such as being ill. According to Wiener, stable attributions for successful achievements such as passing exams can lead to positive ex expectation and thus higher motivation for success in the future. However, in negative situations such as failing the exam, stable attribution can lead to lower expectations in the future. Number 2. Locus of control. Was the event caused by an internal or an external factor? For example, if the student believes it's their own fault, they failed the exam because they are innately not smart enough and internal causes they may be less motivated in the future if they believed an external factor was to blame such as poor teaching they may not experience such as a uh, drop in motivation number three controllability how controllable was the situation. If an individual believes they could have performed better, they may be less motivated to try again in the future than someone who believes they failed because of factors outside of their control. How to apply it to the workplace? Winner's three dimensional theory of attributions has implications for employee feedback. Make sure you give your employees specific feedback, letting them know that you know they can improve and how they can about it. This, in theory, will help prevent them from attributing their failure to an innate lack of skill and see that success is controllable if they work harder or use different strategies. You could also praise your employees for showing an improvement even if the outcome was still not correct. For example, you might praise someone of, for using the correct methodology even though the result weren't what you wanted. This way, you are encouraging employees to attribute the failure to controllable factors which again can be improved upon in the future. So these are the three dimensional theory of attribution by Bernard Wainers. Hopefully it would be helpful for you if you apply it in your workplace with your employees and thank you so much for watching and I want to let you know one more thing that in our life if we want to do something then we can if we don't try for it this is the big mistake in our life so whatever it is don't care it's your life your everything your company your organization still you have time to make it happen so do work out motivate your employees everything will be fine stay connected with the aminol
but with don't forget to subscribe this channel for new business videos